Right on. Oh, I didn't. Oh, did I? Hey, welcome everybody to the Full Spectrum Cycling, show number 275. Yeah, as you note, I put it in there, the fun fact. The oh. word for the 275th anniversary is the, okay, gulp. Give gulp. One shot. I haven't said this out loud once. I've just done it in my head. By Center Quasquigenary. Say By center quas quigenary. Say it again. By center quas quigenary. Who the hell even took the time to think that up? I think you got that one. Down pat. <clears throat> All right. So or we could just say two seventy five. Holy we, hell! That was yeah. We'll have we'll have to revisit that at the end of the show just to make sure we got hurts. it again. So today we got uh, Tony. There he is. Steal his real shirt on on T Burger over there. Uh, J.K. Livens back from Florida. Hello, hello. And uh, we're playing with the uh, the Gizmatron here. Ken Keen says it's going to be easy to be the guy that's the guy. So when you're talking, you're like, oh, yeah, I should just put it on me because I'm, like, talking now. See, it's red, green, nothing over here. Are you oh. guys? Okay, wait. Okay, okay now it's on ready. you guys. See how that works? Well, okay. And then there's all of us. Hey, everybody. Yeah, How's it going? They just change like that. It's like magic. I know. It's kind of weird. How, it actually works really happen? well. Or like '60s television time, like okay, where, where's, where's my teleprompter? I'm just thinking it's not as easy as somebody thinks to be both yapping and also button pushing. Sounds like it. I wouldn't I know. know. I'll just yap. Yeah, you just yap and don't worry about it. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> so, uh, Florida, how was Florida, J.K.? Oh, groovy, fun. very groovy. What was the uh, highlight of the trip? Right there. Max Club Deuce it is the most, yeah, it's a nice dive bar, uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. happy hour, two for one drinks. Wow. They, they clock in at $6, 6 to $8 for a beer or a cocktail, whatever. Is that like <clears throat> South Beach area? Yes, 14th Street. I have there. I have no idea well, anything it's for, about like, it's like 16th, Miami at 16th all, so. to 5th is South Beach. And whatever, and they have like they they shut down the street kind of a la State Street to okay. vehicular traffic for Copy. about like four of the blocks, which is kind of cool in a way, I guess. But whatever, they have a you know nice. They do have very some very robust protected bike lanes. Okay, that we got a bunch of old people well, that don't know how to drive. Well, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And everybody didn't know how to drive. I, I, mean, okay, I, was, I, I, just, of, I was a nervous passenger. For what was the best food you had? <sighs> the sandwiches right across the street from said Deuce, the La, La Sandwicheria. Oh. They just have good food. And I had some French food. And I had a Cuban, of course. Yeah. And it was yeah. good. Um, but Did you get the Maya? When, I got the sandwich, the Frita Cubana. Yeah. I like the idea more than I got the execution on it. Gotcha. So I'm going to just make it myself and then just eat it in the, <laughs> in the confines of my house mm -hmm. with the shades so, drawn. I kind of equate, I don't know, I've only been to Florida a couple times and it's been many years and I don't really have any reason to go back, mm -hmm. but I sort of equate the driving in Florida with driving in Vegas where nobody's yeah. really from there. Right. It's more like they come from every city and they're the shittiest drivers from that particular city. Yes. And then they end up in your town in Florida mm. and now you have a clusterfuck of 50 yeah. different states and people bad. that don't know how to drive. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, yeah, and you can't trust like the license plate because they're all on rentals. Right. Oh, yeah, you absolutely. Know. Or oh, there was a place that had exotic car rentals and I was very intrigued by that. It's big in Vegas. You can get a Lamborghini yeah. or a Ferrari. There were some, you know, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. There were some like yeah. definitely definite opulence flexing 
around well, at times. The, for, you know, if, what if you're down there for a couple of days and you spend 500 bucks a day on a car uh-huh. and you look like you're missed the big shot. The, the running, the running joke in my idea. high school was if you wanted to be the person at the class reunion, you'd rent a Porsche. Mm-hmm. You'd go to the classroom, you'd leave the lights on, and then when they would call it in, like, so-and-so, your Porsche, your lights are on, you'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. And then you'd walk out uh, to look go. like the big guy that has the Porsche when That's you're really good. just renting like it for that. 100 bucks. Yeah. All right. So in California, for my prom, I actually did have a Porsche because I worked at a Porsche shop for my senior year. And we had a 1975, so it's a little older, 930 Turbo. Green, beautiful. Big, huge tail. Nice. And the guy that owned the shop, his name was Alex, Alex's Porsche house. He goes, you're going to prom, huh? I'm like, yep. He's like, why don't you take the 930? I go, huh? He goes, I only got one request. One request. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> I'm like, all right, That's a Alex. car that you can fuck up, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah you, you probably could, but certainly not when your boss is telling you don't fuck right, the car up. Right, right, right. There was a lot of good Alex stories. I wish the guy was still around because- he was always all about basically fucking with the Ferrari shop, the other Porsche shops, and it, you know it's like they traded parts and did all this stuff. And we had a 1963, I think, VW bus that had a flat six in it, nice. but, it but it was the it was the pickup version of it. All sorts of good combi. stuff. It was very fast. The unsafe version. to drive yeah. with that much power. Unsafe. It's Absolutely. One my, it's one of my favorite YouTube videos. It's an Aston Martin and. Something else racing, I think the Nuremberg and oh, it's a it, it's a Porsche and an Aston Martin, and they're going back and forth between each other. And then in the Porsche rearview mirror, you see what appears to be a VW bus, and then it's no longer in the rearview mirror. And now the Aston Martin's looking at it, and it's out the windshield. The thing is so ungodly fast, it's absolutely incredible. <laughs> it's like, how can you drive that vehicle that fast? I mean, you're driving like this. No, you know? see, they must have done something to the st- to the geometry of the steering or something because they were not made to go more than sixty miles right, an hour. Right, right. This right. is doing way more than yeah. sixty miles. An yeah, hour. There, we we had a we had a V eight swap uh, nine eleven. We had a rotary swap nine twelve, which was Ooh. really fun. Thirteen oh, yeah. B rotary. Yeah, lots of good lots of good fun cars. Uh, when you're a used Porsche shop, you don't have to worry about the the fatherland coming down on you for right. not having the proper. Uh, mm. Proportion in your Porsche. Proportion. 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 They should call it that. Uh, All right. So everybody, at JK just escaped before Milton is going to hit down there at the. Yeah, uh, I got right in the. I was right, right in the slot. Yeah, there. you're right. You're right I, in I, the like right path after of, Helena, or Helen. Um, Helene. Helena. Helene. Something like that. One yeah. of those. One no. of those women. And then Milton, believing uh, stole a stapler or something, <laughs> coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered. A, I ordered. A, I, was, I, was I, I, I definitely ordered a mai tai, and you give me a baby b- pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, right, uh, right in the sweet spot. I was so like, oh. one of the one of the people or places that got hit in North Carolina, which kind of I was a little bit like for real. North Carolina, way up in the mountains. How way, the hell did that Asheville. happen? Because they're two hundred and fifty miles from the coast, basically, or whatever, a couple hundred miles. Um, Steve Garn from Brew Racing Frames, in he's in Boone, which is right outside. He got hit real hard. They lot they had a bridge from the road over a creek to their house. His his powder coating shop got flooded. His production shop, their house, they're in pretty rough shape. Um, if, if you're a cyclist and you know anything about Brew, they've been around for forty years. Make some of the greatest frames. Frame building school, all sorts of good stuff. Steve Garn, awesome guy. If you can help out, there's a couple links in the show notes to both a uh, PayPal link and also a GoFundMe thing. Um, they're they're not like, hey, you, we're you know we're destitute. We got it. You guys gotta help us. But it's like if you can, you can. If you can't, you know, there's plenty of other people down that way for sure that need help. When I saw what happened in Asheville, I messaged Colucci and said, hey, what's going on with the Illuminati? And oh yeah. He sent me a flyby video and said the Illuminati's on the island in Asheville. Bridge is gone. Wow. So no one can get there. Oh shit. <laughs> get a boat. Oh, you can canoe to it, but you have no power. Yeah. So it's the point. Wow. Yeah, I was devastating. Well, I you know I love it, Milwaukee. It, so, you know, Milwaukee, awesome. 
pretty much if you want to be in the epicenter of the places where it's not going to get fucked with by weather you're we're pretty okay in a here. pretty good we're, spot we're pretty okay here but uh Asheville is definitely a spot i'm thinking well maybe i'll spend a few a few months a year down there when i you know when wendy retires i retire or whatever because there's such an awesome bike culture down there mm-hmm. and it just it's it's a beautiful place and uh now it's kind of moist that's an understatement. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I mean, I'm sure everybody probably knows somebody down that way, and everybody oh. probably is helping all they can. But if you can, it's in the show notes, brewracingframes.com, and also uh, there's a GoFundMe and such. They're, they're claiming, what's the new one? Milton is going to be so strong that it's still going to be a hurricane after it passes through That's Florida. what I was thinking. Yeah. It was I mean, already they over. They want to make it, they want to create a new category. Category six. Yeah. That's freaking... I do not want to see Category 6 Lloyd, by the way. <laughs> uh, so Milton, when it came across the Yucatan, it dropped a little bit. And then it picked right back but up. It's going to pick right back up again. Oh, it's going to be ugly. I do not envy anybody down there, and I'm kind of wondering why people continue live to there, live in a place right? that's going to get wiped off the face of the map every... Because they don't have to be income tax. Well, it's been over 100 years since it really hit Tampa hard. Right. Eh. Yeah, you rolls your money. Well, part of that, and you sw- takes your chances. Part of that swell is going to hit fucking Fort Myers again. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all in the same little stretch I mean, of fuck damn, stickery I, right in yeah, there. My my cousin lives there. She avoided the first wave somehow. <clears throat> I don't know, like the providence of being in the uh, the old Edison Henry Ford like weird huh. bungalow complex neighborhood. I don't know. Had like the good, the good shine on it or something. All right. Hopefully, that'll happen again. Hey, not for nothing, but you know what? The only hills in Florida are when you get to the top of them. Mm-hmm. They're actually trash heaps. They say overpasses. <laughs> no, they're trash. they're pretty much landfills. That's so we're at the true. top of the landfill here in uh, in this... in soon to be inundated Florida. And America's Wang. And thanks to uh, Shannon for bringing beer a couple yeah. of weeks ago when he yeah. picked up his Marley beer, Mar- Marley beer, his Marley bike. <laughs> bike. Uh, it is the Salmon King. No. The Shalom King. Shalom King. King. Slalom King. No, it, oh, there's somebody on a water ski. It's the Slalom, Slalom King, King West Coast Style IPA from uh, down there at Crystal Lake Brewing, which is in uh, probably it, the it's Illinois. In, it's in almost Wisconsin, Illinois. It's like yeah. way northern Illinois. They wish they were. Oh, Crystal Lake is like right over the border. Yeah, right. they wish they yeah. were in Wisconsin, but they're yeah. really not quite. Jason so. Voorhees, you know all that. Yeah, so yeah. it is. It's, it's tasty. It is. It is not bad. It's tasty. I'm very heavy. Also, thanks, Shannon. Yeah, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you. Thank Shane. 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 Ding. 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 Bang. Dang. Old. Dang. Dang. Old. Shalom. All, beer and stuff. All the way home, I was thinking that we had Shannon's beer, and I whistled um, three little birdies. That was, my, that was my ride home. Step. Oh, we still have it because of his tattoo. I'm like, hey, thinking of you, buddy. Well, we have another beer from him. We could use next week. The red stripe. Yes, because yeah, he, he bought the Marley bike and uh huh. Got this, Does it require this, to have a stripe of red. bong filled with tobacco? Don't know. Is that how that works? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't do enough money. No bong. Who can afford a bong? I was what? watching a guy on uh, YouTube. He's a he's a stereo guy. He's like uh, Skylabs. I think they're in West Des Moines, Iowa. Believe okay. it or not. Uh, which next time I go through there, I'm gonna have to stop because it's just vintage, old, mid seventies probably to mid eighties mostly. Nicely. All stuff, all stuff you can still rebuild, right? It's like you can rebuild this SX680 from 1978 because you can still get all the shit, and it's all good wow, stuff. Wow, neat! But you, <laughs> um, I'm going somewhere with this, but I don't remember where. So it must have been a lie. No, I have I just lost my totally lost my train of thought. But all right, I'll, well, I'll, I'll well, come well, back to well, it. We started with the uh, we started the with Shan- We started with the Shannon bite. Oh, which oh, was the oh, which oh, was that? Oh, oh, wait, it's he's about, got it. It's about bongs, <laughs> um, because there's a speaker You're welcome. called a graphics. It's G R A F Y X. Oh, and then he's like, I think we used to spell it G A R F. I X for the big, long, tall acrylic things. Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah. So it's like, tubes, dude, yeah, yeah. You're, that's you're, a long time ago. Well, you're from a certain generation, if you know exactly, exactly what, what that, that meant, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, dude, I'm from that generation. Yep, yep. I he's, knew that. He's he's obviously somebody that has uh, been through the ring ringer thinger, the bong ringer, the bong ringer. Speaking of the state bike, 
Was the uh, button pushed? No, I did not do it because I just wanted to make sure you were a hundred percent. I was a hundred percent. I, I know, am a hundred percent. I'll do it tomorrow then. All right then. As long as you're still a hundred percent. I'm hundred percent. I thought you might want to be on your Florida trip and be like, yeah, I just wish it said fresh you instead of fuck you. And I don't really want to get it. Oh, are you ordering it? Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, it's also some, I think it's on sale enough to yes. make it like. Let's, it's totally let's, approachable. Let's do yeah. it now. Yeah. Yeah. So they didn't exactly. sell those things out, huh? Well, there's like 60 left. So yeah. they, they sold a good chunk of them. And I'll bet they sold a bunch of bogs. Bogs. Yeah. Oh, easily. Oh, hey. Yeah. Speaking of bags, I got to pull this out while I remember. Excuse me? Excuse me while I whip this out. Uh-huh. So I think we may have talked about this before. Garrett's bog, which is a... Bog. This here is Ooh, a... that's a great shape. Looks so that, that, fresh. That, this is a Roadrunner um, large. Should you, I hit this button to get the camera right? Don't, let's let's, no, let's do it right here. <laughs> mine. Um, Tony has a large blue one. This is a large black one, which Garrett uh, had. That looks way better than mine. Well, he had it for four <laughs> years of high school. Wow. And the straps were completely worn out. <gasps> and they rebuilt them? They rebuilt it. Uh, so these guys will take the bog and they will repair it at a very reasonable price. I mean, I don't want to bust them out, but I think with shipping, this was like 50 bucks to replace both straps and also one of these schmickety schmackers. Wow. Huh. And it's now, and I, you know, I threw that, it. It looks great. Is that Roadrunner? Road, Road Road Runner, Runner, Road Runner. LA. Yeah. People that like totally stand behind their product. I, and. Ashley was so happy that Garrett had gotten through high school with it. And then I'm like, well, he's got four more years of college, so let's get it repaired. She's like, awesome. Nice. So we did that. And we need a testimony. So we did that. And then guess what? You bought another bag. No. Then guess what? He's like, I don't think I need a bag that big anymore. So now that you got a new bag. I got a new bag. Nice. That said... I pimp, pimped them out with uh, the Slacker, which is a smaller, I think there's an orange one over there. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, the like bag. 13 liter smaller bag because he doesn't have to carry 80 pounds of books anymore for some reason. Apparently, they don't, you know, use books or whatever in college anymore. So, no, you can He's go like, back oh, yeah. to your dorm and yep. pick up, hey, I'm going here and I'm coming and back. He does and live on back. campus. And I go, so well, that's and I get go your there. steps up. You know, get your yeah. steps in. Got a, I got a note from uh, Progressive Insurance today about maybe this. This uh, this is this a new driver in your household, Garrett Smith? I'm like, mm, he didn't have a driver's license, and he's not in our household. And he's not in our household, but that wouldn't technically matter, I guess, if he had a license because he has access still. Because you know, every license, Lisa. But, so he got a learner's permit, but mostly because he wanted um, ID vote. for vote, right? Voting <laughs> purposes. What, yeah. yeah. No, that's awesome. I, no, no, I just. <laughs> and they were very nice and progressive. I don't club. know. I don't know. That if... was a breakfast club setup. Oh, yeah. It's like, what? Who do you got this fake ID? Why do you get this? So, to vote. <laughs> <laughs> I So, I don't know. I mean, progressive was very nice about it. They were like, well, if he has a learner's permit, he can be on insurance, but he's not going to be driving by himself, so we can't charge him. I'm like, oh, okay. okay. I don't, I don't know right. if other insurance companies are like that or not, but. Progressive is so progressive. Yes, they are in that in that way. It's not just a clever name. Should we talk about any bike crap? There's some bike stuff on here. Oh. They've got like renters um, insurance that oh, would cover that. your bikes if they yes. get ripped yeah, off. Yeah, along with the so, I work. have a more confirmation from Carolyn that supposedly several of these stolen bikes in River West do have air tags. Yeah, and supposedly they are. You know, so there was the big well last week or maybe it was two weeks ago. You you talked about Aton's post to the police and then a police officer got in touch with him so now we have all emailed this officer ah and said you know hey look this is our stolen bike here's the information and he's his i don't have it i mean i'm sure it's on my phone somewhere but he said that there there could be a breakthrough soon oh so i'm mm. i'm not i mean i don't ever think i'm going to see my bike back but Sure, I would might. like to see that ostrich saddlebag. Yeah. yeah, and did you happen to notice the company that's building the um, fireproof rebuildable battery pack for electric bikes had their Indiegogo went live today? I did not notice that. So it's a pretty neat idea, and if you were an early adopter and gave them a buck, you got a pretty good deal on a, a pretty decent sized battery two thirty nine for a twenty amp hour battery. That's fair. That's fair. And rebuildable. Uh, 
JK. JK. Yo, JK. Yo, yo, JK. Hey, hey, I'm right hey, here. I'm right I, here. I, I'm right I think, here. I'm saying, I'm saying JK here. I think JK took advantage of an Amazon Prime deal for some new noise noisery on his bike. Ding. Ding. <laughs> Ding. I like how it looks. Ding. I do too. Yes. It, it's got a good thumb thing. It, it doesn't feel. When it looks like a megaphone. Yeah. Or a it, cheerleader it's not like phone. The one I bought, I don't know, or got free, you know, that works. But they're always flimsy and they always break. This one just is solid and this is bing. definitely the truth. Yeah. Well, what what I liked about it was the the bell, at least the way he has it mounted, and the way it actually works, the the, the bell is facing forward. And I just read like a, a review in stereo file this morning with a sixty five thousand dollar set of speakers. They got a huge horn on the front that's like this big and it's facing forward. I'm like, wonder how loud that bell's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it works out nicely and comes in. Well, it was, it was cheap. It was a throw in with another purchase because, yeah, the suggestive sell. You know, like the Tic Tacs and the National Enquirer in the in while you're you. waiting in line, you're always going to get one of those things. And that was one of them. And I was like, oh shit, for twelve ish dollars. Yeah. If it sucks, it sucks. But if it if <laughs> it works, it's, it's fine. And I then it can be like. I don't know how I can slam that little video in here somehow, but I got a little video of it. So. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. Um, and, and you can actually get a uh, uh, the hammer instead of it just being the flat badass. thing. It has the shape of a that's woodpecker. Mm. Rather be a hammer than a nail. Something of less, that nature. Less, less I had wood. Whatever. Ha, 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 ha. Whoa. I, I, got weird I just kind of feel like people should probably read this story. Mm-hmm. I've called it Canadian douchebaggery. <laughs> Only because it's like, what's the freaking title of it? Fat biking is great, but I'll never do it. Fuck you. So how did what? I mean, how really, do you know what, it's great? Yep, yeah, but yeah, I don't get it. I did. I read the story. I well, it was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I don't so, even want to. I just read the <laughs> right, right. I just read like not even the headline. You I have no opinion. The headline if is, you've never headline even is, written one. The headline is in the link, and well, yeah. yeah, but yeah. I fucking love riding a fat bike. I'm sorry. Yeah, still. And I mean, I don't know if this bashing of fat bikes is a new thing. Maybe it's a clickbait thing because uh, Pink Bike also had some. It's a podcast. I got to listen to it. Which I hate to listen to. to. Well, I want to listen to it because I want to hear. Plus bikes and fat bikes. Uh, Are they a fad? Baby fat. For the last 14 14 years? years, Yes. They've been fads for 14 years, folks. Uh, speak, speaking of fads. Not and, plus bikes. You know, those came way later. Yeah. They're like two years later. Yeah. The the, the that's, whole fad with that is. about the size of the fuck you, um, you fucking fuck. I oh, saw. So we're ordering the fuck you, you're saying. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, I I'll, saw I'll put it the, on the agenda. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just trying to like just reinforce that. I got the blessing. I saw I showed a the picture and ice the cream blessing. truck, the new ice cream truck for sale already on Facebook Stop me Marketplace. When I'm passing by. But I looked oh into my it, my. and it's Ben's now selling bikes on Facebook Marketplace. Are they like selling a full priced bike on Marketplace? Yeah, they, he listed a the the yeah, new. I mean, you can forty two hundred dollar. You can do that as a dealer. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't I, have to be. All... I would certainly like to ride one. Yeah, I would too. I don't want to own one, but I'd love to. Yeah, ride I'm one. not sure. I'm kind of already thinking about getting rid of my chumba. So if uh, you want a, a very bitchin' titanium chumba, that might be on the block. You know. Also, something else that's on the block. When it maybe it's a let's make a deal section of the show or something. <laughs> what you got there? Oh, that's a good fork. It's a Bluto. It's a Bluto. I don't With even, a lockout, remote lockout. I don't know if it even fits in the thing. It's a little dirty. It's got a lockout. It's, you know, it's been used a few hundred, 500 miles or something. But yeah, it's but not, by James, he doesn't really ride it. But it's not something I'm going to use. He wrote it. Yeah, but he didn't. Really didn't he didn't kill it. Did it's he ever go down a set of stairs? You know what I'd like? Oh, yeah. He, he, yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah, no, no. You know what? Yeah, this yeah, is a thing. Yeah, no, 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 we, yeah. First of all, we got to finish the studio. It's not done yet. Second of all, got to pay for rent. Third of all, I'm not going to use this. So, right. Greg, at, buy it. Greg at uh, everydaycycles.com, make me an offer on this freaking thing. And tapered. Remember, it's tapered. Yeah, tapered steer tube. And, you know, it's a blue dough. It's a whatever, 80, 100. You can probably change that. It's got a thingamajigger here. It's got a throw axle there. Let's uh, send this down the road. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Yeah, let's somebody to get some use out of it. Yeah. By the way, I'm going to donate I was going to get rid of that carbon fork behind you, too, and then I thought, you know what else I got on my other bike? Is oh, I got a suspension fork on my 
my almost everyday fat bike. You know what I don't need on there? Suspension fork. Pretty much don't need a suspension fork you on that well bike. Might as well save yourself a pound and a half. Yeah, I'm going to put that Graham that MRP Shavins. on there because, yeah, I'm going to put that on Wait, there. Wait, weenie. Whatever. Wait, weenie. Tony brought back the, uh, don't throw it on the floor again. <laughs> I did not throw it on the floor. You did. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the floor, it was the ground. And if we could bring back a really long one from a long time ago, you're all beautiful. Except you, Chris. <laughs> That's except you, Kyle, now, actually. Well, yeah, but Chris was great, because he got really mad, because he looks like Kid Rock. Uh, oh yeah! Oh my name we, is ooh, Kid. Wow, that's that's putting a thumb in the eye, man. Come on, now. I just uh, so I I came across <laughs> some new comedy show that asks like weird questions. And are you aware of the fact that Kid Rock had a house built to look exactly like a reproduction of the White House? No. I don't yeah. Care. It's fucking disturbing. Tucker yeah. Carlson was there. The favorite part of the place was the hey, gold Hey, look, a blue urinal. car. Right? Pretty much the same thing. Hey, look, a blue car. But yeah. What, what were we talking about before? I the show, I, I should link you guys to it because it's absolutely hilarious. My name is Keith. They did a great picture of um, Vance. It was Vance during the debate. And, then and the, Heinz. And the then the next day. Right. And then the next day was someone had photo, a, a Republican had photoshopped his face. And they said the, the best part was he went from Teddy Ruxpin to G.I. Joe. <laughs> a Republican did that? It, the No, the comedy show did after the Republican edited, like, photoshopped. J.D. Vance to look oh. rugged instead of yeah. Teddy Ruxpin. Like yeah, that's Vladimir good. Putin with his shirt off? Right, rugged? right, right. You know, the mascara wearing. He's got the smoky eye. Hey, you know, yes. uh, the guy from, yes. first He's of dreamy. all, the guy from The Smith still wears mascara. Because he like, should. Yeah. He's Bob He's an entertainer. Smith, man. I wore mascara He's back in the old days. I did too, and I, mean, I look good. So and are the eyeliner. politicians. They're Me fucking too. entertainers, and they're blah, 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 blah. And speaking of which... The little kid from Sixth Sense, Haley Joel Osment, he does a mean J.D. Vance impersonation on the Kimmel show. It's just pretty I'm, goddamn fun. Did I do this last week where I was poking my screen trying to get it to... Yeah, yeah, you I think you did that? a couple of times. God, you got to poke that one. God damn it. All right, so there's this company called Intrinsic. There's a link link in the show notes. It's uh, I think these are pedals for normal bikes, but they called them out as e-bike pedals, and I just thought, really? Oh, it's actually, yeah, those are like the like like the wise like the actually, wisey, uh scales. These are that you're like you're supposed to only stand on them with bare feet so they could get all the biometrics. Oh, that oh. would be cool. No, these actually have like bumpers on them, so when you're bashing them through your house, <laughs> it doesn't like mar your 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 thresholds on your okay, door. That's oh, kind of stuff. genius marketing. I don't know. It's just like, but they specifically called them out for their ergonomic. Uh, and comfortable bumper grips, so the end of the grips are bumpery. But the pedals also have, like, whatever, you know, some sort of crepe on or neoprene or some That's freaking hilarious. kind of edges on the pedals where they don't cut Mar- holes in your drywall. Non-marring. Well, if you still had, like, old school, um, you know, lath and plaster, you probably wouldn't blast through the wall, but freaking drywall, drywall you, you can, go right through you it. sneeze on it and you put a hole in the shit, so. Johnny Marr? From the um, in, intrinsic. So at first I, th- I was Smith? like... This is kind of a this is kind of a dumb thing. Then I thought maybe it's not that dumb. No, they're, it's they're it's called the bumper pedal. <laughs> you could just wrap it's, your it's electric flat. bike in bubble wrap when you bring it in the house too. Yeah, it should have that thing like when uh, Stallone was in whatever movie when the when he crashed and it was a bunch of foam. What was that one? Uh, uh, not Running Man. That's uh, no Stallone. Demolition Man. Demo- no, he's driving a car. He comes out of jail. He's got. Uh, and then Wesley Snipes in there. Demolition Man. Wait a minute. But he was like a cop. Judge Dredd. Man. That's definitely Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd. Yeah. Is it Judge well, Dredd? Well, you're kind of no. you're mixing. Mixing metaphors. Mixing, mixing, no, not metaphors. Just movies. Movie, movie fours. Movie fours. Anyway, you know, I think I might want to get a touch. Why doesn't Apple make a take? Well, they do. It's small. It's this they thing They do. Here. It's called that. Hey, see how that works? See? <laughs> I touch it. 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 I just touched it a lot. All right, Divinals, you touch yourself. <laughs> when, when I, th- I think about me. No, when I think about me, I touch myself. Got that album. Oh, I, that I don't want to no, touch I anybody else. Oh, what the hell song was I listening to? And it was, god damn, it was just, <laughs> no, it's a great, 
a great lyric, and I'll I'll, I'll remember it by the time the mics end. Oh, look at you, you duck duck saver, you. Is that that knife you found on the ground about, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, how long ago? It's like a... It, it's, Gnome Fest it's like 11? An, it's like an SOG. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 you know, it... it whatever that stood for, I The forget. guy that used to hang out with us is, uh, what was his name, Sam? He sharpened this for me a couple of times. He doesn't hang out with us anymore? I haven't seen Sam in ages. Watch your bits. I think he's mad at us for... Watch your bits while you're I think swinging. he's mad at us for something that steel is real. And Sam, think, if you're listening, which you're not... I think he might have... Maybe he had something else to do. I know. I thought, and you did know, any of you do the? He tweet? hasn't sent me a message since, and I don't know what I did other than they're eating the dogs. Uh, mm. Oh, it is that last month stretch. Everyone's a little twitchy. Yep. Um, yep. Less did, than less than a month. Did uh, uh, anyone do the tweed ride on Saturday? I missed it. Uh, Bert and Mike did. Yeah. So maybe I we can some pictures. Get a little. I don't know. Thing. I woke up in time to consider it, but no. I I mean, I had gotten in mm. at about 10 o'clock that night. And Did I'm you see like, a BB? I'm just like, oh, hell, I don't even know if I can. I'm like, so, I'd love to, but I, I like those days you wake up tired. It's like, oh, no. So the, the, Did you have the jet lag from the hour time change? <laughs> uh, it was the sun. In the fucking so that, that just sucks. The, the benefit of, of Cleon going to school at UWM is she comes home on Friday nights and she'll watch Daniel, which allowed Molly and I to go down to Mad Planet, see Brian, and see they had a they had a three oh, two was, piece band. It was I don't know the opening band. They were from Montana or something. They were okay. Mm -hmm. Second one though, Video Sex Priest, yep. which is Billy Live. and Liv. Billy, uh, Bill Bacchus and Liz from Oh, it's good. Tribal ass. And, fucking and then it and then it, it finished yeah. off with the quills. Yep. Oh, I right. saw that. And then yeah. I got to go home, and I could get home like because it was away. three doors down. Three not doors. To be but, confused by the shitty band. Couldn't mm -hmm. you just say four doors down so you don't have to say three doors down? I probably again? should. Yeah, no, yeah. Probably yeah. Should, yeah, yeah, only three. yeah, leave through the smoking deck. Right. But yeah, it was. <laughs> and I'm literally, the funniest part about it is Molly and I are halfway through Video Sex Priest. And I'm watching them. And I'm watching Liv because, I mean, come on. She's captivating. Liv. And then I'll say, I look over. I look over and I'm like, and I tap Molly. I'm like, Molly, the drummer's Bill Backus. And she looks over at me, she's like, oh, my God, that's hilarious. Like, we've known Bill for 25 years at least. And I sent him the next the next morning, I sent him a message. I'm like, I didn't know you were the drummer for Video Sex Priest. He's like, we were standing right next to each other, but we're so fucking old. We now didn't recognize you do. Yeah. Forest for the trees, man. It was like his fourth, their, their fourth live show. He's like, we're still figuring things out. I responded seen... back with, I'm pretty sure you figured things out because that show was kick ass. Yeah, because I, I saw uh, they did uh, Baby, Baby Bash. Baby Bash, yeah. And I think there was, I don't know, maybe I saw him one other time, maybe. So if you live in Milwaukee I'm not and sure you want to see live. a great two piece <laughs> band, Video Sex Priest. Not to mention, it's so much fun to say. Exactly. And say it one more time Video Sex Priest. So I, who. You know who uh, has got two thumbs and uh, was the winner of the Boris tickets. Oh, you got Boris tickets. Das Sprinkler? Oh. No, Boris. Another uh, Boris. Boris. Oh, not Boris. Boris Sprinkler. Double drum. That's going to be heavy. It, heavy. Is that it? Vivarium. Vivarium? That will be oh. my first Vivarium show. I have oh. two words for you, sir. Earplugs. Oh. I, I was going to say loose joints. We'll talk about those next time, but I got, <laughs> I got some that are... 30 bucks, but they attenuate, but don't ruin. Are they like Sam D's? Well, I don't know if they're oh, exactly, I, but I, they're, you know, they have a filter in them that still allows the uh, the sound to come through in the fidelity you expect, but drops it down 20 dB or something so that you are... With uh, a holder from the sleep show. Thank you kindly. Oh, right on. <laughs> are that, let me see. Are those... Uh, let's see here. What do we got going here? Are these... Oh, those are just foamy. These just yeah. these mute the sound. Okay, exactly, but it's fine. But it is. Yeah. Also, but the carrier. Also, you see. here's the deal. <laughs> I was sleep. going to. I have. I, I bought a sleep double album that I actually haven't even gotten out of the. That's your fault. Yeah. Sleep. So I'm going to put it on there, and then I'm going to make it spinny spin, and then listen to it. thing. 
Cause I, yeah, whatever. That's, that's, Do that's you have perfect. a graphics bong? Maybe. Because if tubes. you did, that would probably be perfect time <laughs> for that. Yeah, pull pull tubes. Could have pulled some tubes, bro. All right, everybody. We did it. We did it like Oops. we were supposed to. And I still have another whole um, Salman Rushdie King beer here. <laughs> I like that. So uh, I'm going to drink that after we say Shalom. Arriva Derchi America. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oddly enough. <laughs> it all You're all beautiful. Sense. Except for you. Who died and made you Mike Patton? Oh.